Ladies, gentlemen, the film you are about to see today is an homage to the no reason, that most powerful element of style. Rubber is available now on iTunes and on demand. I'm Robert Wolonski, and it is my great pleasure to talk to you now about a film that is sneak previewing on video on demand, and it's called Rubber. It's sort of been a favorite amongst the after midnight crowd. Door just opened. Come on, be a good boy. Blow my head off. I think one of the reasons critics really enjoy Rubber is because it is about the act of watching a movie. You know you're not allowed to film the film. Uh, it's forbidden by law. And for the fact that we are going to spend the next 74 minutes falling in love with a tire named Robert. Robert is a very funny leading man, and yet he doesn't speak. In fact, all he does is vibrate. He shakes, he shimmers, he shimmies until he begins to blow things up. awesome. Rubber is also a romance. Yes, you heard me right. Rubber is a romance. It's about Robert's dogged pursuit of the beautiful brunette in the cabriolet he encounters on a lonesome stretch of highway. I think she's a very angry person and always annoyed. That's probably why he's not, he's, Robert is in love with her because he's also very angry. And he's probably attracted to her because of that. Part of Rubber is a, a parody of those exploitation films of the 1970s. Something like Reno 911, because after all, the law does get called out to try to figure out who's responsible for all these blowed up heads. This is what our killer looks like. A tire. Exactly. I give you an hour to find him. If you have any questions. Now or never. Is it black? Weirdos. I insist that you gather all your friends together and you enjoy one of the cult classics in the making, Quentin Dupuis' Rubber, one of my favorite movies this year about a tire that kills people. Magnolia Pictures presents Rubber. Watch it now on iTunes and on demand before it's in theaters April 1st.